Hi everyone and welcome back to Beverly's Design Time. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and I hope you have a prosperous New Year. I know you guys are probably wondering who won the Christmas contest. Well, I haven't picked a winner yet. I still have a couple more items that I want to add to the giveaway. So, I'm going to add in this crystal garland. So yeah, this will be added in with all of the other things that I'm giving away. I'll be doing another DIY and I'll be adding the final thing for the Christmas giveaway in that DIY. Alright guys, so today we'll be using these items to make a three-tiered tray. This tray will make a really nice serving tray for any occasion. And uh, keep in mind, we do have the New Year's coming up. So I know a lot of you guys are planning a really big New Year's celebration. This will definitely come in handy. For the base, I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree bowl. So the next thing that I'll be using is this candle holder that I picked up from the Goodwill. And I also found these two smaller candle holders at the Goodwill. And these were 99 cents each. This one was 99 cents as well. And I found these at different times. And I actually have another set just like this that I found at Goodwill. You guys might be lucky enough to find the same exact sets. I'm going to be using two of the small Dollar Tree plates and one big Dollar Tree plate. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to take these seven items and make something very beautiful. All right, so let's just get started. I have some of this Gorilla Epoxy, so we'll be using that tonight. So all I want to do first is get some of this out on this paper. Try to get an even amount of both. I'm going to take this stick and just mix it together. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and see about where I need to put the glue. Okay, so I'm just going to put it right around here on the bowl. Okay, so now that I have the glue all the way around, I'm going to go ahead and put this on top. And I have my level to make sure it is level. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm going to let this sit for about 30 minutes and then I'll come back and we'll move on to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back. And I have let this sit up for about 30 minutes. And it's pretty snug right now. Go on to the next part. I've already mixed some more of my Gorilla Epoxy. So I'm just going to add some here on top of my candle holder. I just thought about something that I want to do, um, so I'll be right back. I'm going to add some of these decorative fillers on the inside of this candle holder, just to give it a different look. To make it look different. Okay, so now I'll take my larger plate and put it right on top. Press down. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm going to take some more of my glue and put it on top of here. Yeah. Now I'm going to put that on top. And try and make sure it's centered. Now I'll add more on this candle holder. Okay, so when you have that center, go ahead and add one of your smaller plates. Take your final 
candle holder. Put some glue on it. And I'm putting it on the bottom because I want it to match up with this one. You know, match it up. Alright, so this is looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and add some of my beads to the top piece. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add some glue on top of this one and add my last plate. Alright, take the plate and center it as best as you can. pretty good all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and let this sit overnight let this all completely dry and then we'll come back see what else we want to do with it okay guys I'm back and it's the very next morning and as you can see all of my pieces have completely fused together this is really beautiful in all honesty I was going to leave it like this and um Add some other decorations to it when they arrive, and I was going to talk to you guys about that too. Um, I'm actually going to add some bling to this, but I'm waiting on some bling to arrive in my mail, so I'm going to come back and add bling to this later. But like I said before, just looking at the glass is beautiful alone. When I woke up this morning, I actually thought about um, some of these doorknobs that I have from Banggood.com, and I thought it'd be really cute to sit right here on top. So I decided I need to use two of these. So I'm going to glue them together by the bases. So once they're fused together, I want to add them here. But the problem is, these are glass and they have a pointed tip. So I need something that I can put here to accommodate that tip so it'll glue down. I actually thought about using a washer, but I don't have any and I was going to just bling it out. But what I do have is a plastic ornament that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I also have this heated tool. So what I'm going to do is cut the top of this ornament off, glue it on top, and then I can sit my knob on top of it. So I'm just going to move this aside and start cutting away. And what you want to do is just go all the way around and kind of give it a line to follow and just press down. Go all the way around. Now like I said, you can use a washer or a nut. And that'll be perfect. But since I don't have one, um, I just put my MacGyver hat on and thought to use this. So, so what you want to do next is just hold it in place for about five seconds. And then press down. And that's going to give it a forced cut. And just do that all the way around. So if you decide to use this tool, hold it really tight because you don't want to cut yourself or burn yourself. So this is what we have now. This is how it's going to sit on top, just like that. So what I'll do is glue that on there and then I'll bling around the plastic part. And the plastic kind of melted, so I'm just going to clean that up. And remember guys, you do not have to do this. This is just something that came to mind um, when I woke up this morning. And you can use this tray for jewelry. You don't have to just use it for serving food or whatever. And you can um, make it in a smaller scale as well. I wanted it taller so that's why I used the bowl. But you can make this at any scale. That's the thing that's so great about DIYs, you can customize them to your liking. And of course I have one that I did ahead of time. And it's different, but I'll let you guys see it at the end of the video. So now I'm done and that's pretty clean. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and glue this 
right in the center. So I'm going to mix some more of my epoxy and glue that on. So now I'm just going to go ahead and use the flat side, which was the top part of the ornament, and put some of the epoxy glue on there. And again, I'm using the Gorilla um, two-part epoxy that you have to mix. So now I'll just sit this directly in the center. Okay, so I'm going to let this set up. And while it's setting up, I'm going to go ahead and plug up my hot glue gun because I'm going to use some epoxy and hot glue to fuse these two pieces together. So my glue gun is ready. I just need to mix some more of the glue together. Just a little bit. So, now that the glue is mixed, I'm going to put some right in the center. Spread it out a little bit. And now I'm just going to add some hot glue around the edge. And this will help keep the two pieces together while the epoxy sets up. So guys, I ended up having to take the glue from the inside. It was actually creating a bump between the two. So what I'm going to do is just hold these two pieces together, line them up, and add some hot glue to the outside while they set up. Then I can remove that later. So I just went ahead and put some hot glue in four different spots all the way around to help it hold it in place until the epoxy sets and then I'll just come back and peel this hot glue off. Okay guys, so I'm back and um, I actually had to end up using the heating tool that I used to cut this piece off to flatten it. So if you guys decide to do this, then go ahead and use a washer. It'll be a whole lot easier. The next thing to do is to go ahead and remove the hot glue from your two pieces and I've already moved most of it off. So all you do is just pop it right off. It comes right off. And now you have those two pieces that are fused together. I decided to go ahead and add some filler beads on the inside of here as well. You won't be able to see it later because I will be adding some bling around here. But what it will do is to help hold this in place. So I'll go ahead and add the beads now. A little bit more. And just move that around until you get a good fit. So just remove the extra ones. I'm going to go ahead and mix some more epoxy. And I'm going to use some hot glue around the outside to hold that in place while the epoxy sets up. Try and center it as best as you can. Hold it down, give it a little pressure. Turn it around. Go all the way around. Sorry that the camera was out of view. Just turn it and make sure that it all looks even. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue. just to help it stay in place while the epoxy sets.
Okay guys, so that's it for now. I'm just going to go ahead and let this set up for about an hour. Then we'll come back and check it out. Okay guys, I'm back. And as you can see, everything is completely glued together. And it turned out perfect. This will not move. I can actually lift this up like that. This will not come off. Turn it around. Look how pretty that is. So yeah guys, um, you can actually leave it like this or you can embellish it with some bling and that's actually what I'm going to do. I ordered some bling and like I stated earlier, I'm still waiting for it to come in the mail. It should be here in a couple of days and when it arrives, I will come back and bling this baby out. So yeah guys, that's it for now for my three tier tray and it was really inexpensive to make. You can make something this beautiful for let's say less than $10. Look at that. This is gorgeous. Working with the epoxy, um, I think I like it better than the E6000 because it allows it to set up a whole lot faster. So yeah, I think I'll be working more with that glue as well. So yeah guys, that's it for now. Um, I'm going to come back and bling this out in a couple of days and let you see that. And let me show you the one that I made before. This one is a little dusty because I need to clean it up, but yeah. Um, same thing here. I found this candle hold at Goodwill and it was $1.99. Dollar Tree plate. These two candle holders are Goodwill finds as well. And I think they were like 59 cents a piece. Yeah, so now you get an idea what it looks like with or without. It also gives you an idea of how it can look different using different candle holders. Um, if I decide I want to build this up later, I'll, you know, I'll come back and let you guys see that as well. But I pretty much like them the way that they are. I'm probably going to give this one away to my sister-in-law, but we'll see. But yeah, guys, I really love it. And I'll be back to let you guys see how I bling this out. And make sure you enter the contest. I have one more thing that I'll be adding to the contest, so look for that video immediately following this one. So yeah, guys, that's it for now. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber, please subscribe now. And if you are, make sure that you hit that notification bell so you do not miss my next upload. See you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.